Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we are talking Mercury in the sign of Gemini for 2024, and how is this little aspect going to really be affecting us? Hi, my name is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman. I'm an intuitive psychic medium here in the Sugarland area. That's just outside of Houston. I work with my angels and guides to assist my clients in many areas of their lives, to bring them special messages from loved ones who have passed, to dialogue with their angels for guidance into their own situation, or to assist them with their own psychic abilities. If you like my content, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. That's right. On June 11th through June 24th, we have Mercury going into the sign of Gemini, and this is going to be affecting a lot of people because Mercury just affects a lot of people. It just like seriously, it just does. Mercury just affects a lot of people. So let's talk about this. Our planet of communication, Mercury, is in the sign of Gemini, which is all about the inquisitive energy. Why is this happening? Why does that happen? We're kind of like always asking questions in Gemini. So that's kind of what we're learning. And this is a great time to kind of really bring in that smart side, that intellect side, and that communication side and bringing these two together because this is going to be affecting everybody. Everybody is going to feel like this um, a discussion isn't great or it isn't giving me the depth, that depth of communication that I normally want. I really like to get in there deep, but I will tell you, it's going to be coming up with some amazing energies as well. Um, kind of one of the fun parts is a lot of times Mercury in a sign is going to kind of clear things out and it is going to clear out for a lot of people in the sign of Gemini. Like, what do you want to say? How do you want to say it? What is the terms or how do I want to go about kind of like clearing out that energy? That is a great one. Um, Mercury is all about the facts and the ideas and bringing this in. And Gemini can be like that airy sign of like kind of like detachment and like, show me the reason. Show me why I need to do this or anything else. And I will tell you, these come together in a kind of an interesting flow between the two of them as we go through this. This is going to be kind of like making connections at like light speed for a lot of people. It's like, oh my goodness. Now, I will tell you that um, Mercury in the sign of Gemini really connects to our siblings. So if you have a great connection to your siblings, yay, they're be contacting you and they're going to be stepping out of their comfort zone and they're going to be like, um, I want to talk to you about this or I want to clear up misunderstandings. I want to do that. Now, if you're not in communication with your siblings, this is still going to happen. It is still happening. But this is a great time to kind of clear out those old misunderstandings. I thought you said this. I thought this is what you meant. And kind of clearing out that old energy. And it's going to kind of bring things into kind of like a new healed state for a lot of people of kind of like um, associating um, Mercury with that communication and Gemini about being clear about it. This is what I thought you meant. And that's not what you're saying you're meant now. So kind of clearing that out. This could also go into friends that are like family. If we have a lot of friends that are like family around us. This is going to be kind of clearing maybe some old energy like, hey, by, by the way, since we're kind of by ourselves for a moment, can I ask you about this? Clearing out that old energy is going to go like, yes, yes, let's clear it out. Let's get rid of all of that icky old stuff. Um, I will tell you that this will also bring up a kind of like an association with like, I want to go traveling. I want to go. So a lot of people during this time frame, the 11th through the 24th of June are going to be like, Hey, let's schedule a road trip or let's like jump in the car and let's go here. And this kind of energy, this kind of bringing this up is going to be bringing in an amazing healed state for a lot of people. So I will say that's like, yes, because it's like clearing that out, kind of like clearing out all of that old stuff and going on a trip can really bring in that um, dynamic of being in motion, moving things out, clearing things out. And I always tell people like one of the th fun things to do is if you're having a discussion with someone that seems to be getting stuck, go for a walk. You're literally in motion about this. That can be like, yes, here we go. Um, it is the perfect time to kind of find um, areas of your life that you kind of like, I wish I had time for this. Put some of that time during this time frame, like during that Gemini um, in Mercury sign, kind of like, let me put some time on there and let me see if this is enough. I will tell you more than anything else, your intuition is going to be like, boom, it is going to be skyrocketing. Yeah, that inner intuition, that uh, claircognizant sign is going to be bringing in tons of intuition. Emotions are going to be on the high rise. They're going to be bringing up like where you might feel cool and comfortable or kind of like I'm relaxed. I'm chill in this area or like this is really stressing me out. Yeah, 
bringing those both up because both of them have to be healed so you find that balanced state. And I will tell you more than anything else, I find it's funny because a lot of people will do like trivia nights, uh, question and answer phases, um, uh, playing different games, and it's all usually all games about communication, communicating not only with our words, but with our hands, our body, our energy, kind of like bringing in that amazing connection for this time frame. Um, I will tell you, some people during um, Mercury and Gemini will feel like they're being pulled in a million different directions. That's usually me. I feel like I'm all over the place. I almost like feel like I have ADHD, like I'm doing this, do this, go here. And it's like, mm, all I want to do is one thing. This is a great time to kind of bring that energy out. And what is it that can calm you down? Now, for me, one of the things I love to do is I take ashwagandha. It's an herb from Africa, and it is amazingly calm for me. So that's kind of like, yeah. Now let's chill things out and calm things out. And I will even take them during the day because that will kind of calm my brain of kind of like um, focusing on one thing at a time. I will also do incense that brings that uh, energy up, kind of calming me out, kind of relaxing, kind of like bringing in that, what do I need to be doing next? Where do I need to go instead of this buzz like I'm all over the place like, ah, um, I will tell you that this is a great time to really think about like the big pictures. What are the big pictures that you want to bring into your life? We're basically just over halfway finished with 2023. Like what is the other half? What is the other half of 2023 hold in store for you? And what are those big things that you really thought about January 1st? What do you want to bring in? Where are you at with that? Because you kind of should be at the halfway mark more or less. It's one of those. So kind of bringing that amazing energy in and bringing that to a new healed state of like, yeah, this is where I really want to go. Or maybe it's something that's changed or modified. Like I thought I wanted this, but I really don't want this. So this can be really amazing. Like literally these cards are flying out. So the first one I get is self-acceptance. Accept this is um, your energy in um, Mercury in the sign of Gemini. And this is a great time to like relax it out, take it easy and really find what you want to bring into the world. Kind of like, what do you want to bring in and really think about where do you want to be going in this? Um, the next one is surrender and release. If there's something in your life that is not going to be fixed by you dealing with it, working with it or anything else, let it go. It's meant for someone else. And I guarantee you, I've been going through that already of like, okay, this isn't working for me. And this is kind of surrendering, releasing a whole bunch of things in my life. It's like, okay, here we go. The last one is manifestation. If you're holding on to the old stuff, you can't be ready for the new things coming in. If you're holding on so tight to that old stuff, the new stuff cannot come in. So bringing that amazing healed energy in is going to change a lot for you and make you feel like you're ready for the next steps in your life. I thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.